what's up what's going on how y'all doing how y'all feeling my peeps my peoples we is in the building peep squad let's get down to the situation there is so much going on nini done stopped down at the airport and baby she is out here telling us what went on and what happened and how she was treated at the work place and the names that she was called while she was there at work and it was such a hostile environment and basically this lawsuit stands for all black women so black women won't be discriminated against at work you know so basically Nini saying she's doing it for the people she's doing it for the sisters she's doing it for the world so let's get into it you check it out and tell me what you think and your thoughts on the situation but one thing is for sure Andy is out here cutting no checks and he can care less point blank period and when you get on his bad side he makes sure he try to starve your family from a paycheck and you too as well and also make sure you won't see the light of day on any tv show that's what it says allegedly when it comes to nini being blacklisted and blackball so check this what are your goals for this lawsuit? Like, what does compensation, what does justice look like for you? The goals are to stop discrimination against black women. Stop discrimination. That's just the goal. Nobody want to go to work every day as a black woman with blonde hair and the head of the corporation call you a white woman. Yeah. So stop discrimination. That's the goal. Are you looking for any sort of compensation out of it or what? I can't speak on that. You can't speak on that? Could I ask why now? Why did you decide now was the right time to do this lawsuit? I felt like it was the right time a couple of years ago, a few years ago. Yeah. But I was constantly being retaliated against, being blacklisted, not able to work, being silenced. And so, you know, it was difficult to do. What do you think about, there's some like haters on Twitter saying it's because you didn't get your own show. Like. No. It's, it's nothing to do with that? That is so small. That yeah. is so ridiculous. It doesn't make any sense. Right. We're talking about discrimination. We're not talking about a show. What it has think? nothing to do with having a temper tantrum and wanting a show. I never wanted my own show. I, I mean, I had many opportunities to have one. That's not it. It's discrimination. That's just what it is. Do you think that I just gave you a perfect example. Yeah. You know? Did if you, you wore your hair in the afro, and I started telling you about the, your, your hair is eth too ethnic for a white man. That's not good. Yeah. So, so you think they blacklisted you? Say to a black woman, you're 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 a white woman because you're wearing your hair blonde as if it belongs to a certain ethnic group. Right. People. I mean, that's not right either. And it's just more than that. It's discrimination. Yes, I've been blacklisted. When you haven't worked in three years, when all of a sudden you're working and sought after, and suddenly you're not working, it's being blacklisted. I haven't caused any problems on any set. I think everybody I've ever worked with, I've had a good working relationship with, except for this group of people. So Nene Leakes is at the airport and she's giving an interview, you know, basically why she's standing outside and she's saying that she is doing this for black women and she basically believes that she has been blackballed because she don't understand that she was sought out by many networks, many production companies, many distributing companies, many shows and many things and all of a sudden it all hey, just hey. So Nene said that she was backed up in the corner and they were bullying her and she could not say nothing or do nothing and everybody knew what was going on because they was reporting to the big bosses but nini was invited back until she went online and said andy's name and she talked negative about andy calling him a racist and also nini said the last straw was when they had the Black Lives Matter and, you know, each of the housewives they spoke, they, you know, gave history and talked about, you know, racism in America and Nene Leakes was left out that she couldn't speak and she couldn't be a part of that situation and she felt like the reason that she couldn't be a part of that situation is because they didn't want her to really spill the beans or they just wanted her to make her feel like she's not a part of the group. So Nene said after that, that's when she took to Twitter and she called out Andy and 
and she said Andy was a racist and that's when they said we are done we're finito it's over for us doing any business with Miss Nene Leaks but Nene has a great point when she says that for years people wanted to work with her they was looking for her they were asking for her they wanted her to you know do shows do promotion do little sitcoms little stunts here and there for you know major networks and shows and production company and she said it all dried up it's been three years ain't nobody knocking at the door only reason why ain't nobody knocking at the door is because she was black listed black bald and she said it has nothing to do about a bag and it has nothing to do with knocking her own spinoff show you know what she said she said that is just beneath her that's just too little right there it's about black women nini said that when she went to work the executive said that she's trying to look like a white woman they were calling her white woman like omg that is crazy and she said that was so disrespectful because she can wear blonde hair i was like i know there's a tribe in africa that you know people are born with blonde hair and things of that nature even some albino people that got you know blonde hair but basically nini said that she was attacked out here and she said they disrespected her as well when they offer her a spinoff show about the lanithia's lounge and they only offer her like 115 or 150k it was peanuts you know it wasn't enough money for the situation it wasn't even close to what she was getting on real housewives of atlanta then you're gonna offer her a spinoff with little money and basically she thought that it was an insult and things of that nature and you know they even reneged on that once they found out she said something about andy when she spoke on andy and called him racist that was it andy got all his girls all his people he got everybody together and said this is it this is finito with nini and basically he crushed her career for now but nini you know she gonna swim up she gonna make it you know but in any event she is going through some things and they're filming and they're doing things without her nini leaks that one thing is for sure that the ladies have to pay for their own outfits and their stylists and things of that nature and that does not happen you know when it comes to the other housewives that are not african-american or foundational black baby and as you guys know the real housewives of atlanta you know they recently had their you know look for season 14 and they end up spending and some monte baby to get the outfit that, that they feel that they should be in okay and they end up you know getting all white and i don't know if they got all white to basically throw shots at nini point blank period because nini lists in her you know lawsuit that one of the situation is when she was supposed to be doing the reunion the last reunion that she was supposed to be doing all the ladies were wearing white and nini was told to wear black and greg had to tell her go ahead and put on that white don't worry about it and nini felt like you know they they dogged her out and basically not letting her feel a part of the cast. So she had to go change and she put on her white shirt to represent point blank period. And as you guys know, that particular reunion, it was off the chain because Nene was talking to talking about she was gonna rag she rag she was gonna rag she was gonna drag she was gonna do everything and then you know when we noticed that something was going on and we found out because nini stumbled because they got her right in the beginning and basically had her on um, black baby baby outcasted you know she is the black sheep of the group and that's in part of nini leaks discrimination lawsuit and things of that nature and then you got the new you got the ladies this season you know paying for their own outfits which nini did mention in her court documents but at the same time the ladies put on all white y'all so was that all white a shot at nini leaks or was all white looking you know good for them so you guys tell me what you think about this situation so the real housewives of atlanta they didn't like what was going on for their photo shoot for their pictures for the new season they end up putting together a whole white outfit all the way together baby and looking good in it but it came out of their pockets allegedly that's what the word is out on the street but at the same time the last time they all had on white was for the reunion that which was nini leaks last reunion okay and nini leaks was feeling a certain type of way because 
know, um, why is she blacklisted? Why is she outcasted? You know what I mean? And so, therefore, her last season on the show, all the ladies were white. Okay? Now, was that a shot at Nene or what? And also, Nene Leak says in her legal documents, allegedly, that, you know, she was reprimanded because she wasn't filming with Cass the last time that she was on the show. And Nene is saying that's not true, that the, the producers isolated her and not invite her to events or show her, or let her know what was going on um, to be a part of the group. And then she was reprimanded for it but she said at the same time she didn't get the schedule she didn't get anything and it made it seem like she was you know w didn't want to film with the rest of the girls and she didn't want to be a part of the girls i was like lord have mercy and nene leaks also said that just because she walked off the reunion you know basically they were trying to really punish her and scold her and nene said that they don't do that to the other cast members using when a housewife walk off of the reunion they get a show or there is no problems going on at all and they are up and ready to film for the next season nene leaks has a whole lot of complaints she has a whole lot of things that she got to get off her chest baby mm -mm -mm. 